Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So you clicked here because you want to see or you want to have a benchmark like this. And I can tell you, if you are using a NVIDIA graphics card, this is very easy to set up. There's different options and let me just show you how you can manage this. And you can test out your system, you can even overclock, you can do a lot of stuff with this. Let's get to the video. So let me just show you how you set this up, how you get the benchmark like that or all the other variants. Now I'm recording this via my phone because I cannot actually record it via, what's it called, uh, NVIDIA Shadow Play because it does not record the overlay. And if I record it via um, OBS, the quality is very poor. So I'll just do it like this. So what I want you to do is, I want you to open NVIDIA Shadow Play here at the bottom you'll get this menu. Now, please make sure your NVIDIA experience or your GeForce experience is up to date. Go to settings and enable experimental features. You don't necessarily have to do this if you have the latest version of NVIDIA uh, or GeForce experience. Now, you should also enable the in-game overlay over here and you can close this. What, you, what I want you to do is I want you to press Alt Z. That's how you over, open the overlay and you press on the cogwheel and you go to HUD layout. Now over here, there is a new, or if you have tried the beta version, it's not new for you, but there's a performance tab. And I can show you what it does. One second, there we go. You can either like choose to um, show your FPS, there's basic, you can see your GPU usage or your GPU name, FPS, the 99th percentile FPS, render latency, etc. And there's advanced, or you can see the temperature memory clock, there's fan speed, even the power, how much it draws, you can see it all. Now, this is not available because, because we are not actually using the video card and there's no game running. This will be available when you start up a game. And there's also latency, FPS, GPU, neutralization. And there's a lot of options you can choose from. I like to use advanced. Now, if we enable that, you can open this by pressing Alt R. You can just summon this at will. Now, do keep in mind, this will take a little bit of like performance from your system when it comes to gaming because this is running at the background and that you know extra programs running in the background always um, take some of your system but it's not much from my experience um, so if you're curious what is wrong with your computer if you're like having drops or there's a lot of stuff you can even see your cpu over here the utilization just not the, the cpu temperature. That's too bad. That would be nice, personally. Now, there's a lot of more options you can choose from. If you open this menu, this is a new menu. It's You can actually overclock your system via here. You just click on this one and it will automatically um, overclock your system. And it's a very basic overclock. You can gain a lot more from using MSI Afterburner. But this is pretty cool. This is just built in. Do, do know if you like tinker around with it, make sure you put the target temperature down because it will usually like pump it up to 84 and your system will run pretty hot. So that was it for the video guys. If you learned anything, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Tell me if you like it or if I should change anything. Thank you so much. Peace.